The Straits of Mackinac are a sight to behold and a force to be reckoned with some days. David Lydon and Aaron Malone take you to Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse in Mackinac City for tonight's hometown tourist, the lighthouse that served as the guiding beacon for many vessels from 1889 to 1957. It can be a pretty dangerous area and there's a lot of things that you want to avoid and that's what most of these lighthouses are marking. It's some place to stay away from. Old Mackinac Point marks the spot that is the farthest north you can go in the Lower Peninsula. For 65 years, this light and keeper kept watch over the straits until modern technology on the Mackinac Bridge became the new way to guide navigation. The highlight is the lighthouse itself. That's all original. It's built in 1892. That has period settings inside, restored to what they would have looked like historically. That has new exhibits about what life was like for the people who actually lived and worked here. A brand new exhibit depicts the science and technology and helps people understand the basic physics of light and sound that help to guide sailors. Because we can tell you, oh, the light shone out 16 miles and it revolved and this, that, and the other. But how does that actually work? How does the lens actually focus the light on a very basic level? A guide in the night, Craig says people are often surprised at the normalcy of everyday life of being a keeper. Not all glory, but highly important nonetheless. Most of their daily routine is basic maintenance. It's cleaning, polishing, painting, cutting the grass. That's what they do day after day after day. It's a lot of drudgery, but it's very important. You can take a tour to the top of the tower with interpreters, soak in the expansive view of the straits, and see the original lens on display. So much is original here from the fog signal and even the barn. They even reconstructed the warehouse to hold the shipwreck museum of the straits to tell the tales of old shipwrecks to the wreck of the Cedarville in 1965. Ships have been going down here in the Straits of Mackinac basically as long as people have been having large sailing vessels up here. There's a lot of them that are pretty dramatic stories. It does really give you a sense of why this is a dangerous place, why they needed so many lighthouses. For hometown tourists in Mackinac City, I'm David Lydon.